everybody, and welcome back to the Wapeba Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with, uh, I, I guess my lovely co-host. One of, one of the co-hosts for this shit. My good old friend, Minho. Hello. Yeah, thank you for meeting me behind the dumpster again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. We had some good food back here this time. We had some, uh, we had Salisbury steak again. We had some gravy. I actually found some chicken and rice back here. Oh, nice, nice. That's good. Yeah. Actually, we'll start this time. Yeah, let's go. We're feeling festive this year. Yeah, we're feeling festive as of December 30th, even though this will probably go up in January. <laughs> Still festive. It's a record. Don't worry. Yeah. No, no. This is our holiday special. Exactly. Very late. <laughs> the wheel has spoken for us once again, so instead of reading garbage like Hero Brian X Reader. Gar garbage. I know. I mean, I did find it in the dumpster, you? so... <laughs> yeah, we found it in the dumpster beside this house very steak. It was in a it was in a box labeled, do not read. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like, oh, I wonder what this says. <laughs> and we read it, unfortunately. Yeah, we paid the consequences for not reading the box. <laughs> but, uh... But, uh, so the wheel was spun, and we are reading a Pokemon X Reader, specifically a Cynthia X Male Reader. Ooh. Yeah. I know, Cynthia the baddie with her fucking Dragonite that she- Dragonite? Garchomp. The Garchomp that she has. Dragonite? What is that, some sort of armor from some game? Actually, Dragonite is a Gen 1 Pokemon. <laughs> I bet there's Dragonite armor somewhere. Yeah. I think it's 150 in the, like, the numbers in the decks, if I remember. And I know Mew is, like, 151, and the birds are somehow not, whatever. I'm not I here think to it is, actually. Yeah, I'm not here to discuss Pokemon lore. I'm here to talk about Cynthia and why she's so... <laughs> I mean, a lot of men are attracted to this, this being and whatnot, so I guess we're here to see what it's all about. I'm here. Yep. To see. I'm an observer. Yeah, you're unfortunately here. Like, you didn't have a free will on this. <laughs> uh, yes, but with the mention of Cynthia, I am now interested. Yeah, you suffered through enough. We had to read a Spongebob X reader, and then we had to read a Herobrine X reader, and now you finally get to relax. Yeah, Spongebob reader, Herobrine reader? Who, who even suggested those? You <laughs> did! Must be insane. You're like... Here's a really cool idea for one, and then we you made me read a Spongebob X reader where I did a really good Sandy Cheeks impression. Who, me? I made it? No. Yes! I will pull up this footage if I need This to. is the first time for me on this. No, it landed uh, on Minho's choice, and you decided to punish me that time. I'm Minho's twin brother, Minho. <laughs> That's really, uh, that really comes. Min who got it? Okay. Don't know who you're talking about, but uh, I'll ask my brother All right. and, uh, next time. Alrighty. Well, <laughs> anyway, the, the description of this one reads: You loved your job. You loved everything about it. Maybe a little too much, though. Pokemon and all characters are associated with the Pokemon Company and Nintendo. All original characters are owned by myself. What a description. The fucking warning is longer than the, the actual book thing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this. That's, this has Dino in it. It has romance. It has research. It has scientists. And Science. it has Cynthia. I'm looking at the tags, and one of the tags is scientists. Yeah, I, I see that too. Alright, there's no, uh, nothing, nothing suspicious. Yeah, nothing weird going on here. That's good. Alright. Start reading. Oh yeah, last time I- Man, it's been such a long time since I had someone for Wattpad Book Club, like, IRL, that like, the only thing- the, the last thing we read was actually- like, the last thing I read was Hero Brian, so I still had Bill Gates in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are we gonna do this time? Well, well it's a male this time. Well, another Bill name, right? No, this time we gotta make it female. No, no, it's a- it's a male X-reader, dude! Nah. It won't make no sense. 
What if we go into the men's bathroom? You think a reading Herobrine next reader as Bill Gates made sense? I mean, no, but it was funny. <laughs> we had Bill Cypher, Bill Cosby, Bill Gates. What's another Bill name? Oh, yeah, we had Bill Nye the Science Guy at some point. We did. How many other Bills are there? We did Bill what Cosby. What Bill to like. Will. Yeah, like Will or like. Isn't there a lot of first names with like ill? Uh, Bill, Bill, Will, Jill. Bill. Jill. Jill. Alright, you, you name him this time. Jill. Perfect name. Alright. Jill Nye the Giants Jai. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, you good. Name him. Yeah, we're just gonna call her Jill. Her? But you just said you wanted to be a girl. I changed my mind. Wow, okay, fine, it's gonna be Bill then. Also, he's gonna be saying, like, he and him the whole time, oh, so yes. it's gonna screw me up. I'm glad that that's what stopped you. You were like, no, let's make it a female, and you are like, actually, I don't want to change pronouns a lot, so... Yeah, okay. grammar police. Yeah. We will. We will. <laughs> What's another Bill name? We could, did we do Bill Cosby, or no? We did. Oh, shit, when did the fuck do we bring Bill Cosby into? Most... I don't know. Most popular Bills. Let's see. Okay, not congress.gov resources. I'm not talking about the Bill of Rights, all right? <laughs> the Bill, we can Bill number three. <laughs> bill three, Bill four, Bill five. Yeah. And we read, it's like, thou shalt not, uh, I don't know. I don't know what actually what the Bills are. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt not, are you doing the freaking Ten Commandments? Oh, shit, no, those are Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't do Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah, we did it. That was the idea, yeah, Bill Clinton. That's Bill Clinton, Russell right? for basketball. No, Bill Clinton's perfect for Cynthia. Bill Clinton, no. Bill Clinton had so many women around him. You think he couldn't get a baddie like Cynthia? Okay, that's that's true. But... I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> you can't pair some normie like Bill Clinton with uh, Cynthia. I guess, I mean, I, I pair myself a normie with Cynthia, so it works out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, I do not have a coin in here. Actually, do I? Is it in my- Oh shit, wait, hold on. I do have a coin in my pocket! It's a quarter from Aldi's. <laughs> okay, why do you have a random coin in your pocket? We went to Aldi's. In order to shop there, you need a quarter. That way you can take out a cart. Really? Yeah, they make it so like they don't have to hire someone to fetch carts. That way, if you if you return the cart, then you get your coin back. Ah, that's kind of a smart system. Yeah, I've always been like a hair seeder, food line, or uh, other grocery store kind of guy. Yeah, you look like that enough. kind of guy. <laughs> also, anyway. I never needed a grocery cart going into all these. I'll just get like one or two things. Yeah. All right. Um. Alright, you head which side do you wanna be? Mmm okay. So I've never had to read first for like the past like ten, I swear. I... Which is glad by me. You don't wanna read um, first for Cynthia? Uh okay, maybe I do. Hmm. I will choose what did I choose last time? Heads? I do I'll that was tails. so long ago. I don't remember. Alright, tails you read, heads I read. Alright. Tails. It's tails. What was it well, again? Well, just when I want it. What was the thing again? Was I supposed to read if it was tails? Uh... I I have... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. If it's tails... I, I read, right? Do you read, or do I read? I have no idea. Yeah, which one did you pick? You picked heads, right? Um, yeah, this is... tails. Oh shit, then you do read. I do read? Yeah, oh. if it lands on you, you gotta read. Go. Yeah, your, Let's go. Your reign of terror is over. You have to read Wattpad fanfiction first. <laughs> um, ooh, ha, 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 ha. Let me take a swig of this juice. Oh Wait. yeah, your, your juice. What kind of juice Apple is juice. it? Mm. You got cranberry juice? I have strawberry lemonade juice. It's pretty mm. good. I got peach mango. Oh, peach mango, nice. Yeah. It's my last juice. Last juice? You're yeah. gonna need more. 
And, uh, yeah, especially if I'm gonna have a fucking New Year's Eve party tomorrow, I gotta get more juice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Chapter 1, Lab Work. The lab was busy, was as busy as ever, from electric-type Pokemon helping you out with power control to psychic-type doing some of the heavy lifting. You were busy working at the lab, shifting some of the data around, doing what you could to get some progress done. You were in talks with Kukui about Z-moves while also talking with Professor Sycamore about Mega Evolutions. You were keeping yourself busy, clearly. As you were working, you felt the presence standing behind you. You sighed and removed your goggles, and looked, bu uh, looked back to see your first ever Pokemon, your friend Empoleon. You smiled at him before slowly growing an annoyed look at the Pokemon. Bill Clinton. <laughs> Hungry again? Didn't you just eat like four hours ago? Empoleon grunted a little, until you sighed and held up your hand. Bill Clinton. All right, all right. Wait here. He got up and walked over to a series of cabinets near the kitchen of the lab. You pulled out a small bag of Pokemon food and a plate. You got as much as you could onto the plate and placed it down on a nearby end table. Go nuts, buddy. You walked back over to your desk and continued to get to work as Empoleon gleamed and almost ran into the table for the food. He chuckled slightly before looking back through your microscope to see a few cells of a dead Blaziken. <laughs> what? What? Dead! What? Someone already died? Yeah. Are they fucking like dissecting dead Pokemon? Oh god. It's like I never imagined that, but I feel like that's something we should do if we had Pokemon. Yeah, it's like when you go into science class in like middle school, high school, and they're like, Alright, today kids, we're gonna be uh, dissecting a toad. Or like they oh, like you get did those. That too. Okay. Actually, what we did was um, in fifth grade, we did uh, those uh, owl pellets, and we got to dissect them. Yeah, we did that too. Pool. Yeah, well, owl pellets are feces, so yeah, it's a different thing. Feces, yeah. But yeah, I I think did you do the toad as well? No, I never got to do the frog. Luckily, with my shitty school system, we just did the owl pellets. Oh, uh, we did like the toad, but like. We could uh, opt out of it if we could. Okay. So, like, if you didn't want to do it, you didn't have to do it. Yeah, the only the only thing in my school that you got to opt out of for anything was like sex ed. That's the only thing you were able to opt out of. Oh, you could opt out of that too for us. Yeah. That and like also, I think gym as well. If you were like, I don't know, not if you didn't want to do gym or something. Mm, I, that's always been a requirement. You had to have a gym credit in order to graduate high school. Uh -huh. Um, okay, you walk back to your desk and continue to get to work as Empoleon gleamed and almost ran into the table for the food. You chuckled slightly before looking back through your microscope, microscope to see a few that a uh, few cells of a dead place again. After a few seconds of examining them, you wrote down your observations but stopped yourself when you heard what sounded like the elevator coming down towards your left. You released a small groan as you tilted your head back in your stool. You rotated back a little until you saw the elevator door open, and from it, an elderly woman stepped through. She was your boss, Professor Carolina. You perked up a little before you gave her a two-fingered salute. Ma'am, how can I help you today? You rotated your seat to get back to work. Carolina walked up to your desk. Any progress? None for the time being. I need Sycamore to pass over his share of the information. He says he's close to breakthrough. I don't want to buy it. Not a fan? I am, but Mega Evolutions are still a theory. And until Sycamore can truly contain it and prove it is natural, I'm not buying it. Hmm. Got at least you have... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. At least you have your head on straight. I am to please. Carolina walks around a little. Something else you need? My granddaughter's... My granddaughter's coming into the lab for a visit. Uh, let's see. I need to scroll down. <laughs> uh, where am I? Uh, uh Bill Clinton. Champion? 
you spun around in the seat. What does she want with my work? Just to look over it. That's it. Yeah, sure. Excuse me? Bill Clinton. Listen, Carolina. Since when does a champion, an elite four member, or a mega corporation ever care about the work we do here? All we do is work our ass off and then people still demand progress and answers like a flip of a coin. Santia is not like that. Give her a chance. We raised her right. You rolled your eyes before you turned back to your work. Carolina glared a little bit towards you before she stepped back over to the elevator. And Napoleon looked between you and Carolina before going back to his food. You sigh a little before I snap back to your Pokemon. Pokemon, chew quieter, please. I hope you don't treat my daughter like that. Uh, depends. On what? Elevator will be here in T minus six seconds. The elevator blinked again as Carolina slowly moved her head from you and put a smile on her face. Carolina states, Cynthia, it is so good to see you again. Likewise, Grandma. I don't know the Cynthia voice. <laughs> I mean, I don't think she has a canon voice, because, you know, games don't have voice acting, but... Alright, basing- oh wait, I mean, isn't there like an anime of like, like Gen 4? I s there should be, right? Yeah, there's an anime on every generation right now, except for Galar. I think that one hasn't come out yet. I'm definitely gonna see a couple episodes of that just because of Cynthia. Yeah. But just- you're gonna watch a Pokemon anime just to see Cynthia- Actually, you know what? I cannot blame you. I would watch a Pokemon anime just for N, so... <laughs> Tip of the hat to you. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia. Uh, likewise, Grandma. Cynthia and Caroline hugged one another. As the two laughed a little and caught up, you continued on your work, trying to get some of the data prop or prepped for Sycamore and a few other professors. You worked in relative silence with Empoleon, giving you some needed muscle as you ordered the Pokemon to get some vials and test samples for you. You would pat your partner on the head and continue your work. However, things shifted when you heard Carolina say, let me show you something. And then footsteps get louder. They were walking over to you. You sighed a little and swore under your breath. You hated being interrupted, especially while working on a possible breakthrough in understanding Pokemon biology. Carolina. Bill Clinton, I would like you to meet my daughter, the champion, Cynthia. Charmed. You didn't even bother to turn back to face them. You were far too invested in your work, and you heard Carolina growl a little. And she said the first half of your name until you heard a new voice stop her instantly. Grandmother, it's all right. I would hate to have the doctor get distracted. Bill Clinton, glancing back. Thank you. At least someone here has some care. Cynthia smiled and nodded at you. You couldn't see much of her, but you were able to see some of her face that was not hidden behind her long blonde locks. Impressive form as well. Graceful okay. as <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Impressive form. Impressive. Graceful as she was a fighter. Distractions. Focus, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Every single time Bill Clinton is mentioned, I just keep imagining Bill Clinton actually yeah, I, in real life. I mean, that's what I'm imagining like, right now. <laughs> this is just like, okay. Yeah, this is if the presidency didn't work out for him. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a Pokemon trainer if presidency didn't imagine or yeah, work out for him. Yeah, this is an alternate universe where Pokemon exists and Bill Clinton was never president. <laughs> <laughs> you turned back in your chair and went to look into your microscope as you looked through everything. Carolina, aren't you going to introduce yourself, Bill Clinton? She growled, a, she growled a little like an angry mother would. You sighed a little and pinched the bridge of your nose in frustration. If I do, will you let me get back to work? Yes. Now stop being so rude. You sighed and spun around in your seat and turned to face Cynthia and Carolina. You looked up a bit and saw Cynthia in all of her glory. Tall, slender, long, flowing hair. 
You shook your head internally a little. You weren't like those dumb meatheads that made fun of you back in school for being the smart one. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. My grandmother has told me about you. Highly intelligent. Well, that's the first time I heard she has ever complimented me. <laughs> Carolina gave me a hump as Cynthia giggled a little bit. You nodded a bit before you spun back around in your seat. Carolina was about to snap, but Cynthia raised her hand and stopped her. She stepped forward a bit and she stood beside you. I heard you were working with Mega Evolutions. That must be fascinating. Last I heard is that it is proven that the bond between humans and Pokemon need to be at the highest level of companionship but possible between the two. In a manner of speaking, that was Sycamore's end, but emotions are not raw data, nor are they practical when it comes to science. I beg to differ in this context, it is a bond. One cannot measure a bond. That is solely in the hands of the trainer and the Pokemon. And then it is in the hand of the Pokemon if they could, if they even could mega evolve at all. I hate to break it to you, Champion, but the biology of Pokemon is far more complex than you could possibly imagine. I am aware of the fact that I am a battler, but as Champion, it is also my duty to be versed in all matters of Pokemon, scientific, emotional, and battle-wise. You nodded a bit before turning back to your work. Yes, well, at least you have some sense to you. I see that is a persistent trait in the family. Carolina, I... Did you just compliment me? Each day is full of surprises now, isn't it? Carolina, yes, well, it is certainly... Now, you said you were trying to equate this to a number. How do you intend to do that? Recruitment from around the region and move on to the next. Talk about two years to get work done. Fascinating. Do you believe the system could work out to actually prove your numbers theory? I do. Then how... Don't you have a battle soon? Not for another ha half hour. And it will take about 10 minutes to get to the champion statement from here. Plus prep time for the team. And my own work. With all due respect, you have your own life to live, as do I. Carolina, be... Cynthia, of course, I would hate to disturb you. Good day, doctor. Cynthia bowed a little as she began to walk out of the lab with her grandmother. Once the elevator door closed, Empoleon walked over to you and tapped you on the shoulder. He groaned a little and turned to look over to your partner. He gestured to the door and he sighed. She was interesting to say the least, maybe a bit too curious. No matter. Had me the hound or egg. Napoleon nodded. <laughs> we have breakfast. <laughs> and Pouliot nodded and moved back to grab the egg so you could proceed. Holy, that was a long chapter. Yeah. I was like, are you gonna, like, pawn it off on me yet, man? <laughs> I was gonna have you read the next one. Um, oh, see. you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that this is a 50 50 thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Oh, <laughs> oh now I'm getting factor ads. God damn it, I shouldn't look things up on the computer. Wait, what are the comments? She's having a Mickey Mouse voice, she's having a gay voice, I don't know, you breathe too loud, go <laughs> crazy, go stupid. Que pinche nombre mas pietero. I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm taking Spanish, I don't know what shit, I don't know what this shit means. It says, what a hell of a name. <laughs> really? Yeah, huh. and then the comment reply says, come on, or see si, mom, see si, mambo. My go-to partner in Diamonds Pep Club, so this book is an automatic pog? Alright. <laughs> Are yours a Pep Club? Actually, mine is. That, that's the Pokemon I chose, and I'm like, why isn't it, like, super, like, I don't know why this is an unpopular take. I don't like any of the starters in Gen 4. You don't like Piplup? I like Piplup, if that I thought thing. it was cool and whatnot that, like, each Penguin. one got their, like, own thing. Like, Piplup became a water steel type. Infernape is always a fucking fire fighting one. That's all the fucking fire ones. 
And then, um, Churchway became grass ground and whatnot, but like, I feel like their second types added more weaknesses than positives. Hmm. Because then for Piplup, I couldn't bring it out a lot for certain things because what it wasn't super effective against, like, like what it wouldn't have hit it like hard as a water type would now hit it hard as a, as a steel type, technically. So, I don't know. It was, it was a lot to remember. That's true. My yeah. favorite starter was uh, Send a Quill. Nice. My favorite was Oshawott. Oshawott? I yeah. respect that. Yeah, it's a good choice. It right. is. Chapter 2 uh, Morning uh, con Commune? Con uh, commute. Uh, oh, morning commute. Okay. I'm That's so quite... smart. <laughs> I don't think Cynthia would have a high pitched voice. She's a. Uh, She's a Chad in woman's form. I feel like it's like a, oh my, <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> ara, ara. I can give her the like the same voice I gave the Shadow Queen. That'd probably be good. I don't know who that is. Uh, it's the the final boss in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Is that for like DS or 64? Thank you, actually. <laughs> actually, it's, com oh, it's coming there's to a Switch. Paper Mario and GameCube? That's I, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, there's... I think on the 64, there's Paper Mario. GameCube has Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. The, the Wii has Super Paper Mario. The Wii... The, the 3DS brought Sticker Star, which fucking everyone fucking hates this Sticker Star. It's the worst goddamn thing. Uh, we use Color Splash, and then for the Switch, they brought up uh, Origami King, which that one's actually fucking cool. Ooh. Yeah. Do you think... Like, legitimate question, do you think anyone's still playing on the Wii right now, like, multiplayer? Like, I don't know, Mario Kart or something? I think they shut all that shit down. They did? Yeah, that's been shut down for a long time now. Because they just recently okay. shut down the eShop for 3DS and the Wii U, so... The Wii's long what? gone. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a big thing where everyone was like, Please, go get your Pokemon games before they shut down the eShop! <laughs> like, how many years ago was that? A year ago now? A year ago, okay. I think so it's at it the beginning of the of the year that they they shut it down fully. They did it in stages. I mean, like it's been a while since the Nintendo Switch was out, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I understand like, the Wii. I feel like everyone who owned a uh, a Wii now has like probably has a Switch by now. Yeah, I mean, I still have my Wii U. It's right next to me. Pog. Yeah, I mean, I still I still use it to play like Wii games mostly because I don't have any good Wii U games. Oh gee, maybe you could sell it in fifty years for like uh like ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I'd be like, this is the Wii U that the YouTuber Phoenix Flair used in the next <laughs> And they're gonna be like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Morning commute, I can read. Do it. Alright. You had stammered into your apartment, tired beyond hell, and crashed down to your couch. You have barely been able to close your door as you release a sigh of pure annoyance and drowsiness. Despite everything, though, you were still roving high on your accomplishments from the day. You had just had a step in the right direction with Singamore. So, you were well on your way to fully understanding some Pokemon biology. But now, it was time to relax a little. So, what would be fun to do at 11pm at night? <laughs> I don't know, for, for a girl, I would say watch YouTube videos. For a guy, I have some other ideas, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways. You smiled, blinked, blinked once, and suddenly it was 8 a.m. once again. You sighed and groaned a little as you slowly got up a bit and stretched. While you did have a bed, it was typical for you to arrive from work and slowly crash down on the couch and sleep rather than eat or really do much of anything. Still, you had stuff to do. So you got your ass up and went to get ready for your job today. Did we not get, like... Do we work, like, 24-7? Do we not have, uh, like, a day off? <laughs> no, you're a slave. You're gonna work 24-7, 7 days a week. 30, no. 365 days a year. This is the job the rest I of left. Your life. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice quick shower. Got a quick piece of toast. Why didn't they just say it was a- got a piece of toast? Or one piece. For breakfast. And then quickly got out your coat and a new shirt with pants. Once you were ready for work, you got yourself up and out of your apartment and made your, made your drive down to the lab. 
As you were driving, you turned on the radio to see what was going on in the world that morning. Oh, Brady, a host. And once again, S S Champion Cynthia has won yet another Pokemon battle. This time against the gym leader, Brayton. The champion is also able to seal another victory against the trainer, Barry, yesterday evening. Fucking Barry, what a loser. Loser. Loser, so point at him and laugh. Ha 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 ha. What, a, what an idiot. <laughs> Imagine losing. <laughs> I can never imagine that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what me and Cameron called Barry during our Nuzlocke that we did like on our own. I think it was like dipshit. <laughs> <So> just, like, <laughs> it's it's not even subtle. <laughs> I'm to, I'll ask him later. I'm like, what was the name of Barry's name? Because we didn't go with Barry. What was like, what is this asshole's name? He <laughs> <laughs> named him dipshit. <laughs> 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 Stupid ass bitch butterfucker. Yeah. yeah, that's what you named them. Yeah. You should just say it from you don't want to hear about Cynthia today. You already had her in your brain yesterday too, so that stupid meeting. Well, she was polite. Much more polite than others than some of the other visitors. She was still a way to make you lose progress of your work. You didn't have time with petty distraction. As you approached a red light, you saw a small group of people across from the far left. You release another groan, knowing this would take some time before they all cross. That was until you saw one figure in a black coat run a bit further ahead than the rest. Reporters from the looks of it. The camera flashes from everywhere, too. You groan a bit as the press would always linger. But with a note, you saw the figure in the black coat wave to you. It was Cynthia. Your eyes widened a bit as you saw her and she waved over to you. You shrugged down a little in your seat as she ran over to the side of your car. Before you locked your door again, she got in your car! Oh god, help me! <laughs> She's a stalker! Stranger danger! She's a yandere. Yeah. I know this isn't ideal, but I'm going to visit my grandmother today. Then this unfortunate, Then this unfortunately happened. Do you mind? Yeah, yeah. You honked your horn once the lights changed from green and drove forward. Fortunately, all the press members got out of your way as you drove down the street. Cynthia sighed a little before re, re clipping one of her hair ties. No, oh, sorry about that. It was never my intention to place you or anyone else in that situation. Yeah, sure. The car fell a little silent as you drove forward. How was your research yesterday? Fine. Was able to get a great deal of progress. <laughs> Scrolling. <laughs> Excellent. Have you heard from Professor Rowan? I I believe he is working to figure out more information on Pokemon evolutions. Of course I have. We have exchanged notes. It just so happens that Singamore is more knowledgeable on the topic than Rowan. You seem a bit stressed. Is work really that... I'm not stressed! <laughs> I'M FINE! <laughs> I would just like to make it a work on time. Furthermore, I would also like to get more work done if I was there now as compared to this currently. Wow, we're such an asshole. <laughs> Cynthia, the champion, is in our car. Hot as babe around, we're like, fucking, I don't give a shit. <laughs> what are you talking about, Cynthia? Yeah. I'm, I'm very disappointed in Bill Clinton. He would never act like this to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to me that you seem to value work a bit too much. I'm a scientist. Not much else is relevant to me. That is not a healthy lifestyle. I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't prioritize work over your, your personal needs like that, man. Oh, nonsense. You gotta prioritize work until you burn out. No, burning out's the worst. Oh, it's the best. No. <laughs> Dude, work burnout is the worst thing that you can put on someone, man. Sag. Don't, don't lecture me. Perfectly healthy, <laughs> and I, I'm here to continue on with my work. Thank you for your concern, but they're... But they are logged in my- they're noted in my logs. Your logs? I think I can help but laugh a little. Ob- ob- obviently, silently. I don't think I said that right. <laughs> you cocked an eyebrow as you continued to drive down the, the street. You curved a mouth a bit before taking a deep breath and turning back to you, with a smile on her face. 
I'm sorry. It just seemed a bit shocking to me that someone that would use that word in such a fashion. Still, I'm sure your friends would love to see that you're alright. Napoleon lives with me. Yeah, he's track on me. Mm. <laughs> Pokemon shouldn't be there to make sure that you don't fucking die from hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemons are your therapists. Yeah. Some of them should not be therapists, but some of them are designed to be therapists. But there's one that they suck emotions. So if you're feeling depressed, you can just have to go and then you're not depressed anymore. <laughs> Holy shit, give me that Pokemon. Yeah. I need that like... Give me like six of those. Yeah. I'm gonna have that as my whole party. Yeah, what's that fucking SCP? Oh, SCP-999, that little hunk of like, little jelly that's so cute and whatnot. Little slime guy. He He's supposed to make people feel like less depressive emotions. I need that. <laughs> Oh god, does he like kill you or something? No, he's like one of the mo he can like wander around freely. He's like the nicest little guy ever, and like he loves little candies and treats. You just like pet him, and he like brings you like a scent that's very like comforting to you, like like mainly like a childhood kind of smell, like baking with your mother, like a scent of vanilla or like play doh or some shit like that. But he's like the, the cutest little guy, and everyone loves him. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up SCP-999, and the fourth result is, that like was recommended to me, was people also ask, what does the tickle monster look like? <laughs> what a question! <laughs> <laughs> what a deep question. I meant someone else, not a Pokemon. I'm not certain. I haven't had much contact with them in a couple years. I don't think they're their friends anymore, dog. They'll be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Never mind. No, if I if I refer to it, I don't think you know what the fuck I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna move. <laughs> Perhaps you should change that. And I asked you not to lecture me. We all need to be lectured at some point. Even if we view ourselves as the wisest among peers. You look forward, glaring a little bit ahead. Still, that doesn't mean her words don't ring in your head. It had been a while since she spoke to your colleagues from school. Hell, even longer since she had a beer with Singamore. Oh, fuck yeah, we're a beer drinker? That's kinda sad. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get a Miller Light. <laughs> God, get me a Bud Light. Oh, I don't think we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> it's a, if it's beer, it's beer. No, they have taste to them, and Bud Light does not taste good. <laughs> now is the time that you get back to work. You drove up the I lab still... parking lot and got out of the car. Cynthia stepped out of the car and, as well and smiled at you, and she walked over to you and bowed slightly. Were, are you about to lecture me on beer? Was that... <laughs> no, I swear, there was like some drama with some like beer company about some uh oh yeah that was bud light was it bud light yeah the they, this um this influencer uh i followed them a lot their name was dylan on tiktok and it was like they would do the day blank of being a woman it was their like transition as being transgender and they like bud light reached out to them and they paired up and like dylan was promoting the Bud Light, and then a bunch of conservatives were like, Bud Lights are fucking liberal, and then they destroyed a bunch of Bud Lights. Which, that doesn't really <laughs> affect the company. If you buy it, they, they just the money goes in their pockets, man. You're just helping them. <laughs> and they're like, I see. They're like, Bud Light's fucking gay now. And then Dylan <laughs> got bashed, and I don't think Dylan's around anymore. Like, they're not dead. They're not dead. I don't think they just posted. Oh, anymore. no. What, they just don't post? Yeah, I think because of that controversy, they're just like, nah, I think I'm just gonna lay low for a bit. Get uh, a lot of death they... threats, so. Uh huh. Yeah, that. It's it, sad that people are fun. like that. Yeah. But people are just fucking stupid. <laughs> Thank you for the ride and for some entertainment. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just make sure the media doesn't follow you like that next time. Nor do I want them to hunt me down in my own house with you. <laughs> that won't happen. I swear to you. Cynthia placed a hand on your shoulder and offered you a smile. 
You gave her a confirmed nod, and she smiled back at you. You then went to the went to walk into the lab as you as we what? Slaughtered behind her a little bit. Okay. Sauntered. Sauntered? Okay. No way, hold on. I'm gonna look it up now. We what strutted behind her. We walk walked. Saunter is to walk in a slow, relaxed manner without hurry or effort. Alright. Saunter. What he said. <laughs> 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 you, you cracked your neck a bit and rubbed your eyes as you got into your workspace. Once inside, you glanced forward and saw Caroline talking to Cynthia. Caroline looked past her granddaughter and over to you. You were too a bit earlier then. No time, thanks for the concern. <laughs> Cut off. Yeah, he's like, fuck that old lady. You got into the elevator and rode down to your lab. Cynthia. I'm here for Cynthia. Yeah, <laughs> you were like, you're not Cynthia. Get out of here, you old bag. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia and Caroline looked at the elevator and then back to each other. He concerns me a little bit. I make sure I'm never having to experience that again. <laughs> the ride was comfortable, but I was worried about his mental state. He seems rather lonely. Maybe a little bit shy and angry, too. Have you ever considered giving him some time off? You, sh you tell him that. He hasn't had a day off in about three months. There isn't much you can do to stop him. He has refused every day of with time off. Then perhaps we should do something about that. <laughs> Make like pass the laws like it's mandatory. You gotta take two days off, man. <laughs> We're on a hybrid schedule now. Yeah. Mandatory. Yeah. Labs closed on two days. If you if you come in, you're trespassing. <laughs> you are the champion. You have far more important things to worry about than anything else. I suggest you let me handle his mental woes. You worry too much about working with law enforcement and battling. <laughs> I am the champion. It is my job to make sure Cinna was as stable as possible. Cynthia? Caroline puts a hand on Cynthia's shoulder. Arm. <laughs> you are 33! You didn't drop these ambitions of childish uh, granders. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure! Don't worry about making everyone happy, it's not possible. Never lose hope, Grandmother. Cynthia walked away a little towards the steps leading to Caroline's office. Caroline uh, watched before she sighed a little and followed the champion up the steps for a lovely family lunch together. You and meanwhile were lurking, were working on some information on the Hamdar egg from the day prior. We just cracked it up and we're observing the fetus and we're like, mm hmm, yes, this is what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It has, a, it has a leg, and uh, yep, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pulled it out, you pulled away from the egg and turned it around a little. You grabbed the needle and slowly insert. Oh, we didn't crack it. Oh. I see. We just stabbed the uh, needle into the egg. Yeah, Don't we just cracked it. it, broke. Yeah, this thing's gonna come out deformed. <laughs> <laughs> You pulled it. You pulled out a bit and got some liquid from the egg. You placed the liquid into a vial and had a series of DNA that was extracted from other samples. You grabbed your phone and hit record. DNA I wonder if there's any special needs Pokemon. Well, like, <laughs> what context is this? Like, Pokemon <laughs> that help with special needs or Pokemon I that swear have special? Holding a needle into an egg is not healthy. Yeah. There's some fucked up looking po- I feel like there's some fucked up looking Pokemon that, like, should not exist. But if- <laughs> Like what? Oh, what? Like, like, Grimer's weird. It's just a puddle of poison. Grimer. <laughs> it's a fucking puddle of poison. It's a How is that thing sentient? That's a good question. Same thing with the fucking sandcastle from Gen 7. How is that a Pokemon? It's a sandcastle. Honestly, like, to me, Ditto is a- yeah, it's, interesting Pokemon. Like, how yeah, can you imitate lore. another Pokemon and just, like, copy their moves? That's insane. Yeah, I mean, it does have lore with it. Does it? Yeah, you don't know the lore? That's the lore of Ditto. Okay, like so scientists uh, 
was able to extract uh, Mew's DNA and because Mew's like really cool and whatnot. They were trying to like make like a second Mew, like clone it. But through all their failed attempts, a lot of dittos were made. That's why Ditto and Mew share the same move transformation and whatnot, where he can copy a Pokemon's DNA. And then when they finally were successful, they made Mewtwo and whatnot. Ooh. That, that's the lore. <laughs> I see. Yeah. There you go. I knew, like, the lore of Mewtwo was, like, copying you. Yeah. But well, how do you. Well, all those failed experiments that you see wandering around? Those little dittos? Those are, those are failed Mews. What? I'm yeah. gonna capture every ditto now and just treat them well. Yeah, you're like, you little baby, and he's like, <laughs> doesn't know where he is. <laughs> I have a 100 ditto. That's Let's me. go. The only movie guy is transformed. <laughs> DNA successfully extracted. Both freeze at negative 20 degrees. Work with samples later with Sigamore. Perhaps have dinner later. You turned off the recording and looked back at the egg. You rubbed your face a little. Still completely tired beyond hell. Still, you cracked your neck and continue to do your work. Just like every other day of the week for the past 13 years! 13 years? Man, we have no bitches. <laughs> Damn. I mean, basically... Oh god. I'm scared already. Sorry, I got a Discord DM. <laughs> it's 1.20 AM and it's a school night out and I'm reading Wattpad. What am I doing? Fair. <laughs> that that's well, <laughs> the comment. Welcome to the internet. Shit happens. Yeah. Well, what'd you think? It was this pretty good. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Are you not having, bad? Are you having fun with it? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, I'll have this book linked down below in the description if you guys would like to read ahead or make your your friend read this that loves Gen Four and whatnot. Actually, this is pretty written, pretty good. I like it. I think the uh, the dialogue's pretty well written. The scenarios they're they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready to spin the wheel? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it still fall colored? Because I thought it was cool. All the wheels look the same, so I wanted okay, to get a little Okay, slump. you gotta change it. Change it back to Christmas or else I'm not spinning. Hold on. Is there a Christmas one? Pick a theme. There should be. There's fall green. <laughs> uh, there's winter wonderland! See, it's okay, that's fine. Oh, that's good, that's good. There we go. Yay! Alright. I really hope it's Hero Brian X Reader just to make you suffer. No. Oh, you're oh, gonna it's your suffer. Choice. Oh no. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I did free will. <laughs> oh, I'm free. I'm free from the shackles of what? <laughs> We're either reading Zosan or Hero Brian Reader. All right. Well, if that's what you think. I won't let you know until we record next Saturday. Don't choose something too wacky. Yeah, don't worry. I'm I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna have a silly goofy mood next week, so... Don't surprise me now. Yeah. How much juice have you drank? Only a half. <laughs> half the juice? Yeah, half juice. I've also drank almost half the juice. Yeah, I'm gonna need a rest for Gang Beast later. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, so uh, thank you for joining me behind the dumpster again. I really appreciate it and whatnot. Yeah, no problem. Hey, can you save those sticks? We need to make a fire later. Or yeah, it's yeah, it's getting cold tonight. out here. Yeah, it is getting pretty cold. It's uh, it's winter tonight. Come yeah, on yeah, it's snowing. It's currently snowing right now. Uh, the chicken has snow on it now. I Come have on. snow on. You gotta me. save the chicken. You gotta hug. The, you gotta hug the chicken for body warmth. Come on, yeah. you can't like. Just risk losing the eggs. Yeah, you're That's right. That's like our only source of protein right now. Come on now. What the fuck are you talking about with eggs? <laughs> the chicken's gonna lay some eggs. The chicken's already diced and seasoned and <laughs> We can bring it back to life. That's no worries. It's gonna be possible, man. It's I'm... possible. Anything's possible if you set your mind to it. Alright. <laughs> we'll put eggs in here. There's gotta be some. <laughs> Alright, well. Thank you guys for joining Wattpad. Um, well, Minho doesn't let me put anything in the description. 
So you can put your you can put stuff in the description like Minho's an idiot or something. I don't know. Oh uh, well, I meant like your social media. That way they can follow you if they like what you say and stuff. But like, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I guess they can put that. In. <laughs> That'd be funny. I just put today Minho's an idiot. Read the book here. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Well, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. See ya.